My name is Nancy Kim and I'm from Korea, but now I live in the United States. Today there are almost two million Koreans living in the U.S. and Canada. In fact, there are a lot of immigrants from all over the world here. More than 20 million people living in the United States and Canada were born in a foreign country. Today we're going to meet a few of them. Let's start with Shiru Katagiri. Shiru, where are you from originally? I was born in Japan. Why did you move here? Well, I had a um, long desire to come to America from the time that I was very little because I had a great uncle lived in Chicago. Uh, he used to send us a gift and a Christmas time and Easter, including uh, Life and Look magazines and chocolate. How long have you been here in the United States? It was 1966, the first time I came to Chicago. How old were you when you came? 26. Did you have a job in Japan? Yes, I had a job at the bank, which is which considered to be very guaranteed lifetime employment. What do you do now? I started my own company in 1980. Since then, I have my own business. What do you miss most about Japan? People, friends, and uh, good food, and um, I guess mountains, big mountains. What's your name? My name is Carmen Sarilda Guzman. Where are you originally from? Originally, I'm from Panama City, Panama. And I lived there for about 13 years before I came to the United States. Why did you come to the United States? I had a sister that lived here and she had a family and she wanted to bring us here, mainly for an opportunity. How old were you when you came? I was 13 years old. What do you remember most about Panama? Christmas. I guess because I was a child when I left Panama. And Christmas, for me, it was a special time because as our family, we did not have a lot of money for my mom to buy presents for us. Did you learn something special in Panama? My mom was a type of woman that wanted her children to learn a skill. And she put me into dancing every day. We went to classes. My mom was always there. Do you still dance? Yes, I still dance. I'm in a group of about 10 people. They are all from Panama. And we get together and we practice because we dance every year at the Festival of Nations. Adan Casas is also from a Spanish-speaking country. Let's meet with him. Adan, where were you born? I was born in Mexico in the state of Morelos, the city is Cuernavaca. How long have you been here? I have been here since 1982. So what do you remember about Mexico? Well, I remember I used to go to the evening classes, and it was kind of fun since I lived on a rural area, and we used to gather in groups with the students and play soccer. What do you like to do now? I like to watch television, read, and play soccer. Do you play soccer for a team? Yes, I do. We played soccer this past winter, and we won first place. What do you miss most about Mexico? Well, I miss going to the rivers, to the hills, and the food. Next, we're going to meet with Rocky Ralabipi, who is originally from Africa. Rocky, where were you born? I was born in South Africa, in a, a place called Mahuila Rain. What language did you speak? Actually, I am Zulu. But uh, because we lived in a Sutu speaking area and I went to a Sutu speaking uh, school, I spoke Sutu and my family spoke Sutu. Why did you move here? I came here as a Fulbright scholar. And when I applied for the Fulbright Scholarship, I really did not care which country I was going to. I just wanted to 
get out of South Africa at the time and I wanted to see the world. So I applied to universities in uh, Britain and in the United States. Did you have a job in South Africa? My first real job, my first professional job, <clears throat> was after I graduated from college, I went to library school and I graduated from library school. So I was a librarian for the first year and the second year I also taught in the library school. Uh, so that was the beginning of my career. What do you remember about South Africa? The first thing that comes to mind is my family. I remember my cousins visiting. I remember the Christmases. I remember the dolls uh, that we used to make. I, I re all of my dolls were homemade. So I remember the process of you know, creating that little nation. Our final guest is from Europe. What is your name? My name is Cecilia Rosenberg. And where are you from? I come from Sweden. I was born in Stockholm, the capital of Sweden. What did you used to do in Sweden? I liked horses very much. So I used to ride and I used to pretend I was a cowboy and bring the cows in and work in the, in the stable and with the cows milking them. What do you miss most about Stockholm? This may be looking back, but everything is within walking distance. And uh, uh, it's beautiful. It's water everywhere. It's uh, nature, parks everywhere. It's uh, beautiful architecture. When did you move here? That was 1978. How many people came with you to the United States? Only my husband and, and our two children. And how does your family like it here? My children like it very much. They feel it's home to them. My husband always feels he's left something very important behind. Traditions. Maybe you're wondering about me. What I remember most about Creel was the wonderful food. My favorite was a kind of spicy barbecued beef called bulgogi. Lucky for me, I can enjoy Korean food right here in the United States. This is Nancy Kim reporting. Mmm, I can almost taste that bulgogi now. <laughs>